think we're watching Everyone Formula One. Are we, are we watching Trans World? Hey, what's up? I'm Jamie Owens. We're here with another video show, and we're here with Silas Baxter Neal. And we're going to be talking about his perpetual motion video part from 2013. So what's up, Silas? How you doing, brother? Doing good, Jamie. How you been? <laughs> good. Thank you for letting us uh, come yeah, over to the house. For sure. Glad you guys are up here. So we're just going to take a little uh, time travel back and check out this part. Maybe before it gets started or whatever, tell me what was it like to be in a transwell video part just because, you know, people through the years, some yeah, legendary yeah. dudes have had parts. I was super stoked to have the opportunity to be in it because, like, so many of the ones growing up, I watched so many of the videos and it was part of, like, the skateboard culture completely, you know, and yeah. transwell videos were always, like, had a certain, like, level to them, you know, they had, they held the bar at a certain place. And yeah. So, like, the idea of being part of that was pretty exciting. Yeah, and I was going to maybe ask you this at the end or whatever, but where do you, where do you rank this video part within all your video parts that you filmed through the years? Are you uh, satisfied with it? Like, uh, you know what? It's, this was a f video part that wasn't super stressful to do, which was awesome, and it was fun, and I, I'm stoked on a lot of the footage in here. I like the way it came out. There's a lot of Portland stuff in here, a lot of stuff I filmed like kind of on my own. and so, It was like a lot of ideas that I had had over the years and just didn't try or you know or I couldn't do before so it was cool to have like a there's a lot of accomplishments in here like yeah. I think also like the, the the grind to grind is something that I think that a lot of like makes me you know a lot of people know that about me that's what people think of you know associate so it was like kind of a yeah it's like an hallmark iconic moment. tree yeah, yeah yeah or like landmark moment not hallmark landmark moment so yeah yeah so I think it was a pretty important one yeah that's life, awesome. for sure so yeah let's dive into this thing and uh yeah dig deep and see what we get <laughs> Taking some pretty gnarly. Dude, yeah, so like, not as... Oh, yeah. So just tell me the pause wherever if you got a good story about a certain okay. clip or whatever. <laughs> oh, who picked the... What, is this one of your songs? Yeah, this is a song I wanted. This is something I really wanted. Yeah. And they made it happen. Is it the Yeah, Yeah, Yeah's? Yeah, 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 yes. Yeah, 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 Yeah. Portland, classic Portland yep, spot there with the back nose ground. spot. I really like this line at the time. Who, who were you one. filming with up here? This is Tristan filmed all this stuff. This is on soft wheels. It's all rough <laughs> there, so there's a couple things here to put on cruiser wheels for, but I tried this line a couple times and broke my board trying to not making it in there, hanging up. Yeah. Brennan uh, took all the skate stoppers off that That's first fall. rail. Yeah. Is that Portland? No, that was Colorado, Denver. Classic LA spot. Yeah. A random parking lot line. <laughs> That's so great, yeah. Uh, Do you ride bigger wheels in Portland? No, I ride 52s. <laughs> I think that the, maybe those are bigger than what people ride out in California, but I just kind of ride 52s always. Yeah, it's not big. That's not too they big. They don't seem too big, though. Yeah. You just push a little harder. <laughs> Go just, a little you just complain more about how shitty the ground <laughs> That's all. <laughs> I was stuck on this. This is a spot I found getting my new tires. <laughs> <laughs> While you were getting new tires? Yeah. <laughs> like later, I was like, oh, what's this? Damn. How fucking gnarly is that spot? In yeah, here? I like that spot a lot. It's super weird but and hard to skate, but it's just, you, there's so much opportunity to weird stuff there. It's like you can kind of approach it differently. And yeah. I remember it was right before that, though, Stefan had just skated and like, did a switch flip nose slide on it and, and all that stuff, and he was the one who suggested that I go there. Oh, really? Because he had fun there. I was like, oh, yeah. That's it. But does it help when you've been to gnarly spots and every time, you know, a lot of skaters, we see spots and videos that we've never been to and don't know how gnarly they are. And then, as you know, mm -hmm. pro skaters travel the world, you go to these actual spots and get to see how gnarly. And so when you see somebody else, you're like, fuck, and you know, a little bit more. Totally, about. yeah. A lot of stuff is you can't tell whether you've been there or whether you've skated something really similar, you know what I mean? So you mm -hmm. might be like, oh, that thing looks so perfect, but you're like, usually isn't. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they're rarely it perfect. Not. As much as they look like it, they're rarely perfect. Yeah, you don't see the like curve around the corner or yeah, the cracks exactly. and stuff. Yeah. yeah, all the little things that add up. Yeah. This spot is blown up for LA videos yeah. and stuff for sure. I think I missed a flight for that one. Really? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Portland, big old lips lab. That spot's like something I'd always wanted to skate. Like the most dream hub of rails like spot, you know? Yeah. And I was, I was stoked to be able to skate there and get a trick there. I can't believe those things are still skatable. Even I think somebody just oh yeah, Justin Henry in the quasi video got a trick there. Yeah, I'm like, how are those wild. rails still going? So many times they've been like unchained, chained, unchained. Yeah. 
still skated. And I, li- I like awesome. that those kind of spots don't lose their flavor. Dudes still want to go there. They don't mm-hmm. care how many times you've seen it in videos, and you'll still go there and want to get Just like clip. the shape of it, too. Like, it's so good. Like, that, the rounded edge. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just... It locks in super good. The, the pitch is fun. It's, yeah, there's those certain <laughs> spots that are just, like, made so perfectly for skating. Mm-hmm. And for, I don't know, 20 years, they've been, like, destinations and iconic places, you know? Yeah. It's amazing. That's awesome. <laughs> Florida too. Florida. Yeah, that was sick, the Wally board slide. <laughs> this spot was amazing. It was like a, like a housing development that hadn't been, they hadn't built any of the houses yet. They had mm-hmm. just built all the plazas and there were just houses everywhere. It was crazy. Like so many different ones. Different sizes and shapes and yeah. different sizes of stairs, but it was like completely abandoned and there's no buildings built. It's just empty plazas. Where was this at? It's in Florida outside. Florida. Of, outside of Miami somewhere. They're like Wally up the like back of the up animal. Puma, yeah, the when Puma. I saw that thing, I was like, oh my god, like, I have to figure out how to fucking skate this thing. That's so awesome. <laughs> the Puma. God, yeah, that's heavy. Yeah, this was pretty amazing. Um, when you go into a video project, what do you have a process of like tricks that you want to get, or do you just kind of go with the flow of whatever spots they take me to? I'll try to skate, or are you very particular about what you want to skate when it comes to filming for a video part? Uh, kind of a little bit of everything. Mm-hmm. Um, I kind of always have like a l- list of tricks in my head that I'm trying to do, depending on, and sometimes I do them before a video's over. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> I carry on yeah. from video to video to video. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, so I always have like an idea of stuff that I'm trying to do. And, but there's a large amount of just go with the flow, go on trips, skate with everything that I can possibly skate, and then kind of narrow it down at the end, like what I have already, what stuff mm-hmm. that I think I can do better, what tricks are. I'm stoked on right now, you know, like, it's not towards the end when I start to kind of, like, fine-tune what I have and what I want left, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, so I think it's a little bit of both. The beginning is more kind of, like, kind of get, a, get as much as I can, and then by the end of a video, you're, like, able to narrow it down and figure out what you still need. Do like, you need that pressure of the video deadline to, like, come through, or do, are you, like, going for it whenever the opportunity arises? Um, the video... Uh, the deadline helps a lot. The deadline makes it so you're like, kind of get in your head that you, this is your chance to do stuff you would normally do, kind of, mm-hmm. you know. But I kind of, I film some video parts and I just kind of just always been part of what I do is just always, there's always another video part. So <laughs> yeah, I just kind of always thing. seem like, you know what I mean? Just whenever I'm at a spot that I like or have an opportunity to do something, I like to like try and go for it. Yes. Yeah. You don't know if you're going to be back there, you know, like and whether you, has something to work on or not if you have footage it helps when you do need more you know? yeah for sure is there a trick i was thinking this too like is there a trick that you do a lot that you always have to like spread out like backsmiths or something is I it like, like i gotta every, spread those out through yeah. all different video projects i feel like every line i ever do has a back tail on it so Does i always it? try and be like all right i gotta save my back tail for like the right line or you know what I mean? yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> that's a nasty little kink Nolly flip crew. No, I'm still coming at it. <laughs> oh yeah, and this trick, the back blunt, backside nose blunt. Yeah. Was that a tribute to Rick Howard and Questionable? <laughs> oh, I don't think so, no. But yeah, it should be. It do should you remember be. it? Like, Not really, but I do yeah. like, I, do, I remember, yeah, I like Rick Howard skating. He did a lot of cool tricks. And yeah. That was a, a slow-mo trick and I think Questionable on a red curb. Back yeah. Blunt, backside nose blunt. I did them on quarter pipes and stuff like that. Oh, and really? I just like wanted to do one on a, I, you know, I did it on a, a bank kind of thing, like a blunt slide to nose blunt. Mm-hmm. So I tried to do it on a ledge. A straight ledge, is it gnarly? Yeah. And then we go right into the, that's a Portland spot yeah. for show. A rough one. What, that thing is low new, to get on, right? Yeah, it's <laughs> but scary. It's scary. It's like, yeah, really fast too, so you just cook when you get on. Let's talk about this. That's so, were you first one to hit the spot or get a clip on it? No. Where did I see it? I Stefan know. skated it before I did. He did. No, he did 180 fakie 5 Oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. 280 out. He also did front 5 fakie. I think when, when I skated it, he had done front 5 fakie on it. And then I went there with Brennan and I did a nose grind on it. And then I skated a bunch since then. <laughs> yeah, that's why. Where is that spot? It's outside of Sacramento. It's in. Woodland, I think, around Woodland. 
I can't like that spot always blew me away. I was like, how is it to like transition it's to so a good. bar? It's so, it's so good. Good. It shoots yeah. you like right to it. It's a little scary because it it's like shoots you right it's to the too bar. Is the bar not too close? That's what I always. I think it's spots. like kind of perfect. You gotta like go right to it, and it's yeah, not, push it's not too far back where you can't pop back in. You know. Yeah. I think it's like the best one out of all of those. First one to flip into it. Nice. Pretty gnarly, but pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you think of uh, Elijah no scratch? That was nuts. <laughs> that was nuts. Nice. That was nuts. Yeah, that was so nice. nuts. And there we go. Yeah. Give me the background of this bad boy. So I found that one because my kids don't like to take naps. <laughs> So I drive around and try and get my, to get my kid to fall asleep in the car seat. <clears throat> and this is near by here. This is like less than a mile away. Oh, so we're so going like, to check that out. It's in the neighborhood. So we just drive around and I saw it and I was like, oh, that thing would be like sick, crazy gap trail because it's like smooth runway. Mm -hmm. And then I just always saw it and thought about it. And then I thought about the grindy grind a little bit and I showed it to Brendan and he's like, dude, you got to do that shit, man. <laughs> And I kind of didn't think that I could, and I was like, and he's like, all right, if you don't do it, I'm going to get Mark Tucci up here to do it. <laughs> and I was like, so fuck. Good. And then I, made, then, it like, then I just thought about it all the time. And then when John was up here, we checked it out, and I like kind of ollied onto it the first couple of times, mm -hmm. the first night, and realized that it was like pretty comfortable to get onto the first part. Mm -hmm. We went back the next day, and it took a little while. It was just scary to like commit to it, you know, getting on the first one. I did so many where I just jumped on 50-50 and jumped off, jumped on. Yeah. Off until it felt comfortable to make that leap and then. Cause that gap is pretty big, even though it's fisheye, like that's yeah, a pretty. Yeah, it's like, it's over a board length, you know yeah, what I mean? It's a full so, board Yeah, yeah. yeah I think one of them I hung up on my back truck and like flew down and that, that was like the scariest thing, you know, that's mm -hmm. like what, and then, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, pausing it right here, just looking, that's the yeah, make in your back it. truck. It. It's it. like in your foot's all Floater foot too, you know, <laughs> yeah. like it was just, dude, it's a little sketchy. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I don't, you know, like, some of them I would actually get like the tail to pop and it would feel like a solid ollie, but so many of them are yeah. just, just like hopping over and, and just stay yeah. with me, <laughs> love Somehow, it, I guess. Yeah. yeah, I was blown away, pretty and, like in shock and stoked for sure, super stoked. And this what's funny is that this trick is probably the like, iconic trick from this video part, but it's not your last trick in the yeah, video, yeah. which is great. Yeah, I always thought that was funny too. <laughs> Did you have any say in that? No, no idea. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you make that. Take that, suit you. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last trick, kick foot back tail at Burnside. Yeah. So, so that more. always was bizarre to me because I don't really skate Burnside. Mm -hmm. I'm not like a Burnside dude at all. <laughs> I think Burnside's awesome, but I'm just not. That's not your forte. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, it's, it's cool, but I'm, I don't skate there ever. And, and people do way gnarlier and stuff up on that thing. That's like not <laughs> yeah. even like, it. and I, it was, yeah, I don't know why it ended up the last trick. I'm not bummed on it. Yeah, yeah, it's for cool. sure. Because it's gnarly. That yeah, it's cool. That's, I think I'm, it's I'm kinda... stoked I did. It was like hard for me to do, and it was something I was really stoked that I did. Yeah. Um, I went there one day. Ratche asked me to go skate with him because he wanted to go skate there early in the morning. He wanted somebody to skate with him, so I went with Ratche, and he was trying big spin nose pick, and I did that. That's sick. And then I think it was just the last thing. And at that point, I had with thought that I was done with the video. Like I, John had said, he was pretty much done editing it, and then Kurt sent him that last trick. Oh, I just threw it in there, yeah. yeah just so. to show the diversity, you know. Maybe, like, yeah. Yeah, gap, rail, gap, rail. Burnside. Burnside too. <laughs> so gnar, dude. Oh, one quick one that I read your interview from the uh, 50 Gap 50 uh -huh. that you went out and played poker or won. You won something. You, did yeah, you go yeah, gamble yeah, that yeah, night or whatever? Tell so, that story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you can play video poker in all the bars here. They all have machines and you can win money on them. And I like to play sometimes. And so I was super stoked. and riding high and <laughs> having some drinks and one went, I think 200 bucks or something, 200 and something bucks. That's a solid day. Pay for drinks, pay for the day. <laughs> you bought the rounds? Yeah, <laughs> it was a solid day. <laughs> all in all, I think that like my first Habitat part was like my favorite part because it's... That's a special thing. It's a special thing and yeah. just like that time period, it like embodies such like a s awesome time period of mm -hmm. like just learning about skateboarding and, and being, a, you know, being a sponsor skater and traveling. Yeah. First, you know, first of everything. But then I think I like this video part a lot just because it's it wasn't like a crazy stressor to do. It was at a period when I was like having a lot of fun. I was living back in Portland. A lot of the footage is like stuff that I filmed here in Portland, kind of my own. 
on your own time and schedule. Yeah, yeah, so that takes totally. away a lot of the pressure, right? It takes yeah. away the pressure and also stuff that I, you know, from at home or is more stuff that like I'm thinking about, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Stuff on trips is usually like you, you try and get whatever you go to, you, you try and get something at. And sometimes it's not like things that you were like were dream, dreaming about, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But most of the stuff at home usually is stuff you're like dreaming about. So got a lot of tricks that I wanted to do for a long time. So I was, I was stoked on it. Awesome. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate yeah, it, brother. Sure. Thank you very much. This was not what I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like real smooth up here. Not. <laughs> it's not smooth. This is smooth for Portland. I mean, that part's not. Yeah, yeah, that's not. We can come off of this line. Oh, yeah. When you're looking down at it, it looks like it's higher. It is. It yeah, is it's higher, huh? Yeah, so I like just how like mellow it was like because you could get on, you know, you could get on, and have like a l little time to think about it, yeah. And you, you wouldn't need to go super fast at it or anything, and you wouldn't be going really fast once you get on. I think the curb maybe helped a little bit just to like kind of jump off of it mm -hmm. more, you know. The first couple I got into, I got into one like a backsmith, because I was just going straight over, you know. Oh wow, okay. And so like my, I was like over on this side. This is what we're talking about, seeing the spots in real life, a whole yeah. different game. You know, sometimes they just make them with the right angle, you know, like yeah. that, that pitch is so important, like, yeah, especially for, for me, I don't, there comes a point where it's like, doesn't, it stops being fun once it starts being like a little bit steeper mm -hmm. on any kind of rail, whether it's 20 or five, yeah. you know, it has to be the right angle for me, I feel like that's what I like. Do pitch. you trip out with the kink rails? Total side note, just like kink rails, like what dudes are doing now? Yeah, like it's Miles nuts. and it's Jamie nuts. Ford, like it's backsmithing, nuts. like triple and quadruple kink rails. I just, just like the idea, I was like, I'm gonna front feeble this. <laughs> you know, like riding up <laughs> to it, just yeah. like, I'm gonna just pinch it in, as yeah. they call it, pinch it in. Yeah, and just hold and go for the ride. Yeah. It's crazy what your mind can do when you like normalize something, you know what I mean? Like yeah. you think that, like, oh, this is like, People can just grind kink handrails now, and then yeah. once you think that, then people just grind kink handrails like crazy. Yeah, think of the next few years of the next yeah. generation of kids coming up, seeing those guys back, you know, front yeah. feebling triple kink rails and stuff. Like, oh yeah, yeah, for you kick flip into that. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Oh, and then I, I painted it. I spray painted it after I skated it too. Look at this good guy. Yeah. What a good guy. <laughs> yeah.